So a while back I promised you guys a video on how to paint uh, zombies. But unfortunately I painted all my zombies without even thinking of doing a tutorial for them. I don't know why, don't ask me. But I do have 20 other zombies to get painted up. So um, in the meantime, uh, I don't have primer. So in the meantime I'm going to do a tutorial on how to paint skeletons for the vampire counts. Uh, this could work for Tomb Kings, but uh, I I don't know. Tomb Kings, I'd recommend a probably lighter uh, scheme. Um, as, uh, my paint style can be described as average to high quality tabletop. Um, I mean, my guys, I think that I get a lot of compliments. Uh, they look great on the field. Um, so, yep. Let's get started. Alright, right away, right to the paints. Uh, first, um, I'll make a list of the paints that you'll need. First paint you'll always need with you on hand is good old Chaos Black. Second paint, 10 bits. Uh, for the swords, uh, probably bulk and metal, I recommend. Though if you want a lighter sword or you want to highlight the sword, I would recommend Mithril Silver. Uh, the washes you want, oh wait, yeah, wait, more paints, never mind. Shining Gold, <coughs> Gold, lots of bleached bone, of course. And depending on what army color you want, uh, mine is red, so I'm going to use blood red. I'm doing the Von Karsteins, Vlad. Alright, for the washes, you will need Ogren Flesh, and finally, of course, always Bad Out Black. Good wash. Alright, let's get moving. Don't have much time. Alright, so I have my brushes over here. You probably won't see them on camera. I have my waters. I have two water cups. You usually want, you usually want two water cups uh, for washing your brushes off. Uh, one for metallics and golds. And one for um, other colors, base colors. Because the, um, of course, the metallics have these uh, speckles, you could call them, of uh, metallics. And they get mixed up with the paints and it gets all weird eventually. So I always have that. Got my napkin, got my plate to keep the paints off my new off my new desk. And I need some water. And yeah. So here's our model. I'm sure you saw the end product before uh, the uh, title credit uh, the title credits. I'm sorry I can't talk right now. Here's a model, very basic basic model. He has no cloth around his waist, so that'll save time. But he does have a helmet, which you probably can't see in the video. There it is. All right. First thing to do. We have no skull white in our paint list, by the way. And the paint list again, uh, not again, but the paint list is um, listed in the upper right-hand corner in the description. Here's our whoop, whoop. Bleach bone. That's our base coat. Now ble my bleach bone is ruined, apparently. Now, breaking news: my bleach bone is ruined. But anyways, first coat is bleach bone. Get it all over the uh, bone parts you want or you need. Um, my bleach bone usually takes two or maybe even three coats of uh, paint. So what we're gonna do? And take your bleach bone, of course, dip your brush in the bleach bone, and get right to it. Alright, I'm sort of an awkward angle right now, so I apologize if I actually get... Alright, there's the model. Let's get into it. You just want to gradually, just want to slap it on the model. Uh, it is a base coat, and of course, base coats can be very messy, which this is. Get his face. Uh, do not worry about getting the bleach bone inside the cracks and crevices 
in the eye sockets mostly um, because that's what the washes are for and for toning down the brightness of the bone um, yep bleach bone I'm sorry uh, 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 quick uh, thing I'm sorry if I get in the way or kind of go off camera a tiny bit uh, I'm not used to doing tutorials um, I'm probably not very good at them not sure I know my neck run tutorial got quite a bit of a good reception but yep uh, here is a quick Oh man, that lighting's not very good. My hand's getting in the way. Okay. I need new brushes and I need, need new paint. If you did not hear me earlier, my uh, bleach bone is kind of ruined right now. What to do? It's kind of dried up now. It's not very good. I probably didn't close it all the way from last night. Man, all right. Well, we'll just power through it. It's actually uh, thicker now, which I like actually, but it is a little too dry for my taste right now, Joy. All right, that is about it for this coat. Second coat will cover up any mistakes. Oh. Uh, don't forget his his hand on the uh, hilt right here, because I always do that. And don't forget his hand behind the shield, just right in there. Uh, do not worry about again. Do not worry about getting it where it should not be. It's just a base coat will be all covered up alright so if we can get the light in oh there we go it's a nice light alright one minute let me clean my brush off but yeah that was step number one in our paint tutorial paint our base coat the model with bleach bone I'm sorry if you kind of missed all that, uh, my painting the guy. I'm not very skilled in the art of tutorials, but that's what you're going for, the base coat. Um, I do actually have a solid coat with this guy. My bleach bone is kind of getting better. But now I'm running out, so it's kind of bad. But that's what you're going for. Try to focus that. Awesome. Alright. Step number one for us is done. Uh, in the meantime, while you guys go away for a bit and do part two, I will clean up the guy parts I missed, if any. Um, go to part two next for the washes. See you there.